How's it going gamers? My name is Dan and welcome back to Twitch Tutorials. In this week's Twitch Tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an iTunes or Spotify song ticker with OBS. Before we start, we're going to need to download the program that will read the songs from your music player. In this tutorial, we're going to be using a tool called Snip. The link to the download can be found in the description below. To download Snip from GitHub, just click Latest Release. Then under Downloads, click the Snip program for that version. The file will download in a 7z file, which you can unzip using any unzip program that accepts 7z files. And for the record, I used WinRAR. Note that zip is a Windows program, and as such will not work for Mac users, so if you are a Mac user, this tutorial is not for you. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the snip file, choose a permanent file location somewhere on your computer, then move the folder there. Once you have the file in its permanent location, you're ready to go. To open snip, just find the snip.exe file inside the folder you've downloaded, and then double click it. Snip is a program that has no user interface, and instead lives on your toolbar. In the bottom right hand corner of your toolbar, find, then click, show hidden tools, and right click the snip icon. This will show all of the available options for configuring snip. From this section, you can set which music service you're using. The five options in snip version 501 are iTunes, Spotify, Winamp, FUBAR 2000 and VLC. For this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the use of SNP with iTunes, but the basic principle is the same across all services. Once SNP has been set up, close the program on the toolbar, then reopen it, and this time iTunes should have opened simultaneously. Feel free to now play any song on your iTunes. Go back into the SNP folder you downloaded earlier and find the text file snip.txt. Open the TXT file, and you should see the song name and artists of the song written within it. Now go ahead and change the song. If you close and reopen the snip.txt file, the contents of the text file should have changed based on the song currently playing. If this is happening, then you have set up snip correctly, and you are ready to move on. Once snip is set up correctly, you are ready to add the song title into OBS. And it's very simple. What you're seeing on screen is an overlay I use for my broadcast which has headers for song and follower information for my broadcast, and I'll be talking about channel overlays in the coming weeks. For now, we're going to fill the space next to Now Playing with the song that is playing on iTunes. To do this, right click inside the sources box and go Add Text, and then I'm going to name it iTunes. From here, you can set it up in the same way you would any other text file in OBS. To match the other text, I'm going to quickly make a few slight changes. I'll change the font to Calibri, lower the font size to 44, add a tone of green to the text, and a black outline with a thickness of 5. Now if I type in some random text, you can see the preview of the text on the scene. It's not perfect, but with the more time you spend playing around with it, the more you can make it perfect. Now that we got the visuals, let's load in the snip file. Right click the source file you named, and go into the properties menu. From here, Right above where you entered the text, click the Use Text from File option, then hit Browse. Navigate to the directory in which you saved the SNP files and select SNP.txt, then hit Open. In the box, you should see the directory to your SNP.txt file. Hit OK. This will now tell OBS to read the text from the SNP.txt file, which will change to reflect the song currently playing. From there gamers, the rest is up to you. Adjust the text source to fit the broadcast layout, and don't forget to open SNP every time you start broadcasting. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to help, and I do read all my comments, so post below, let me know if you have any issues. I'll be releasing a new Twitch tutorial next week as well, so if you learned something from this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help keep the series going. Until next time gamers, my name is Dan, and thanks for watching. We're gonna make it through the